You know what's phenomenal is like, and you kind of got me hooked on it is, uh, is uh, Dave Portnoy's pizza review, like oh, Barstool yeah. President. So the way he does it, but he's yeah. it's super consistent. He yeah. doesn't really deviate. He's yeah. got a personality, so and like good. he's got the niche to it. Like yeah. he doesn't try to mess around. That's his and like that's so his good. thing. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's Thai food, maybe your ratings are like like what are some emojis? Like is there a like chili pepper emoji? Like. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. you rank five out of five chili yeah, peppers. Yeah. Hey everybody, Kevin here. I can't believe this streak that we're on. There's some of you that have watched all of these, some of you that have watched zero of these, and others that have watched one or two episodes because they pertain to you. And that's my goal. Not every video that I post here is gonna matter to you, but there might be some piece of information that you get out of it or somebody you know that should watch it. So. Here we go, we're gonna jump into another episode. I'm gonna pick a random card here. We still got like at least 15, 20 left, so uh, we're gonna keep this going. We're gonna pick a yellow card here. What does this say? Side hustle food review. So this is, I actually met somebody here at Crystal City a couple months ago. Uh, she worked full time, but her whole side hustle was she had a, a foodie Instagram account here for Northern Virginia and DC. And she was talking about like, how does she monetize this or turn this into more than a side hustle? And the, the fascinating thing is literally we were out to this dinner club and she kept literally taking a picture of every single food. And I think that's the first thing that I would share to anybody that has some type of food account or their personal account they're using to be a foodie Instagrammer is you need to literally take a picture of everything you eat and then decide later what you're gonna post. Um, but in this context, for this episode, if you uh, have a side hustle in the food world and you are doing reviews, I think a couple things that you could do aside from the obvious of what I mentioned of doing Instagram, uh, because obviously there's a huge culture there, is I would actually start to cold email different restaurants uh, and maybe food trucks that are popping up, especially if you read them uh, on, on any press outlets or, or news publications, email them and say, hey, chef, or hey, food truck owner, Bob's Barbecue, uh, I'm a foodie here, uh, I would love to actually sit down and interview you. And so then maybe you bring your phone or a camera and do a Facebook Live or Instagram Live, or maybe you do behind the scenes video uh, of you testing out all their new food, but at the same time you interview them. How'd you get started? What made you start this restaurant or food truck? Uh, what type of audience are you catering towards? Uh, you know, what's your signature dishes? What makes you different than everybody else here in the city? Uh, so I think that would be my second tip is to actually connect face-to-face uh, -face with the restaurant owner or the chef. And for tip number three, what I would recommend uh, as a three-parter is you need to be, to, to be different, you need to, be, you need to simplify the process, be super consistent both in maybe when you post or how you post. I'm gonna show you an example here in a second. And I think the third thing is you need to be quirky or fun with it. You need to have some type of spin with it. Uh, the thing that comes to the top of my mind is maybe you are reviewing all the Thai food in your area. Maybe you use the pepper emoji and you rank it on uh, one, one pepper to five peppers and every post you have has those amount of emojis. Uh, the two that, I, that come to mind for me though is um, the Barstool uh, president, Dave Portnoy, he started, uh, what is it, one bite? Uh, every, yeah, uh, basically, uh, it's, a, it's a pizza show of New York City, but he basically reviews, takes one bite, even though he takes like five, and he basically judges it from a scale of one to 10, but he never gives an even number. It's always like 7.2, 6.3, et cetera. Uh, speaking of pizza though, my other good friend, Keith, he actually started Dollar Pizza Slice NYC, and the one thing you'll see here with all of his pictures this is all a top-down shot with a white plate and the slice. And what he would do is he would rank everything from cheese, sauce, crust, and overall experience. And he, was, he got so specific that it was just dollar pizza, pizza slices in New York City. Uh, so I think that's what you need to do is figure out what is your niche, who you're gonna, uh, what are you gonna review to kind of stand out and get a followership. And I think coming from this, as I started, people might be thinking, well, how do I make money or a living off of this? Uh, a lot of people, one, if you gain the followership, you might, get uh, become an influencer and, and get invited to do different uh, grand openings and things like that and you can charge for that. The other thing is my friend Keith, he actually would do pizza meetups so he would partner with different charities, different venues and uh, different pizzerias and actually have a meetup and meet 50 to 60 people so it could be a great networking opportunity. Uh, and I think the third thing, maybe you uh, write a book or something like that or 
uh, you get on Condé Nast travel blog or something like that. So I think it's, it's about exposure and redoing it over and over again. But I think this last tip is, is simplify consistency and being quirky or fun and having your own spin on it. That's what I would do, even though this is completely random. Uh, food reviewer, side hustle, that's what I would do to kind of grow a followership and potentially make it full time. Hope you got something out of this, hope it was fun. It was definitely different, different for me, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon.